Hey y'all, welcome to the fourth day of Vlogtober. Whew, I ain't gonna lie, I really didn't think this through. I should have just pre-recorded way ahead of time because this whole recording the night before, editing that night, posting it the next day, your girl was tired. Like, I don't know what's wrong. Today I literally slept all day. Like, I worked from home today. So I woke up after my lunch break, I took a nap. I got off of work, I took another nap. I'm just, your girl, your girl is tired. I'm just, I'm really not, not feeling it today. Nobody told me to um, do Vlogtober but myself. That's what I get for doing Vlogtober. It's really just because I really want to do Vlogmas for real this year. So I'm trying to see how dedicated that I can be. I'm really going to try to do all 31 days. I might miss a day or two or three. But today's video is going to be a 10 minute makeup routine. Real quick, real simple. You guys see me talking weird. I have my Invisalign in. This is a Thayer's Witch Hazel Mist that I use before i put any products on my face i'm sure you guys notice that you guys are not in the weird angle anymore on my camera i used to for my band the way my vanity setup is like weird so i had you guys up because um it wouldn't work with you guys being down but i actually ended up buying a suction cup mount for my camera for my vanity mirror but now my vanity mirror is broke and then now this suction cup didn't really come with instructions so i don't know how to put it together it really like kind of kills my motivation to make like these kind of sit down videos because I don't have a designated space in my house to sit down and record. Um, I don't, my little content area, I will probably eventually move to that because I feel like that is more of like a nicer space. Once I get that going, it'll probably be a nicer space for me to record because um, recording right here in this corner of my room really isn't the cutest. And I know it doesn't really matter because the background isn't really the principle of the video. The principle of the video is me. But it does kind of like, you know, like when you look back and you're editing or even when you start to record, it's just like, oh, it's not cute in the background. Not even aesthetic, because my whole life is not aesthetic. I told you guys multiple times on here, you're not going to get the aesthetic version of me. Sometimes you are. Most of the time you're not. You're going to get the real raw uncut version of me. My life is not completely aesthetic. You guys see, I don't live in a high rise. I'm in a basic apartment. But honey, the bills are paid. Ask where I lay my head, it's all that matters. Tried so hard, you guys can't see to cover this bookshelf in the back because it just has a whole bunch of shoes and um, sweaters and stuff because they don't fit in my dresser. They don't fit in my dresser drawer. The TV is a mounted because we haven't bought them out yet. For my primer, I use the Refi primer or sometimes I'll use the e.l.f. But right now for this video, I'm gonna use the Refi primer. I was watching TikTok that screamed at me. It was like when you put primer on, y'all like kind of like pat it into your face. And that's why it doesn't work as good. You're supposed to just like have a little layer on your face still. Because I was one that was like, like I was patting all my primer into my face, but she screamed at me, so let me just go ahead and moisturize it in a little, but kind of leave it, you know, leave the surface. And my camera battery is on 46 because it would have made too much sense. It would have been too much right for me to put it on the charger last night. Since I have these bangs, I'm gonna keep it a book. Honey, I have not been um, putting makeup on my forehead. I have not been doing my eyebrows. Mind you, I have not got my eyebrows actually like done in months. Because the girl that I was going to down here, she just, she became a little too sometimey for me. And I made the first appointment fine, no problem. Second appointment tried to make, she responded like two days later. Tried to make another appointment. She asked what time. I told her the time and no response. The day of the appointment when said time came, just the next day, didn't hear from her. This is the NYX um, brow gel in clear actually i lied before i do that i like to go in with my nyx micro brow pencil because i used to first uh put the gel on and then go in and do the and like fill in my brows but it doesn't work that way because then it will just be everywhere she would just respond when she wanted to respond and i don't have time for that so I'm not going to her anymore. I need to find somebody else. I'm not about to uh, go too crazy when it comes to these eyebrows because they got to get covered by the bang anyway. Right, now we're gonna go in with the next brow gel. It's so funny because I have a couple months left on this lease. But I'm already thinking about where I am moving when this lease is up. 
In college, I moved five different times. Five different times. Every year I moved. One time in my lifetime, I have to live in a high rise. I'm not saying it's gonna be when this lease is over because mm, like I said, prices in Florida right now are a little crazy. I'm thinking, okay, so if I can't get my high rise, then I want a townhouse. I love townhomes. It's literally like a house. It is like a house. It's just not a full house. My allergies are kicking my butt right now. But if you are looking for like eyebrow tutorials, this is another channel for you, honey, because I don't know how to do my eyebrows for real, for real. I get them threaded. But I'm taking the NARS concealer in the shade Hazelnut with the Morphe brush M421. And then I just carve this out carve that and then kind of like meet in the middle and shade i take the morphe m453 brush and just blend it out and then for the top i just do the same thing i outline the back come on hair i outline the back part of it and the top part of it, well, the front part of it, and that out. Okay, this is the Elf Halo Glow in the shade Tan Deep, shade 6. I have to just take a Claritin because my allergies are acting up so bad, and I keep sniffling and rubbing my nose, and it was giving Janine off a house of pain, and we can't have that in this video. Like today, it took everything in me right now to actually get up and record this video. And this is the Real Techniques Central Foundation Brush. Today was one of those days where I was about to just be like, listen, y'all gonna understand that um, I'm missing the day already. But then I was just like, girl, it's only week one. How does that look? If you are already missing, um, you're already missing days when it's week one. Every single time where I get like in a mood where, uh, I don't want to, I don't want to create or I don't want to record or whatever. It's like, think I'm on that. I'm sure it was some day she didn't want to record or whatever. And look at her now. She made $4 million <laughs> and she's on Forbes and she's walking runways. So it's like, listen, honey, get up and record. I cannot honestly tell you guys the last time I put on foundation. I do wear foundation. I've been wearing the Makeup by Mario foundation in the shade 24N. That's the holy grail at the moment. Before that, I was using Maybelline. I don't know why I have so many. Four. Maybelline foundations. Two are 30H, one is 24H, and this one is just the matte boilers. Not even gonna lie, this is drugs for makeup, but it does very, very good. Maybelline Fit Me never fails. When it comes to makeup, to be honest, most of the time is spent blending. Like, most of the craft is just blending. If you blend out, doesn't matter how long it takes, just keep blending, your makeup will come out seamless. I just peeked that I don't have in earrings, and that's ugly, so. This video is probably gonna be longer than 10 minutes because of me talking. I have the Born This Way in the shade Warm Beige and this is the Makeup by Mario in the shade 520. So I'm gonna go in with Makeup by Mario first. Makeup by Mario concealer eats. I love the way it just glides on your face. And even though it is self-setting they say, I still, I still set just because. And I usually will put a little bit on my forehead too, but not doing that. Then I'm going to go in with the Born This Way Concealer Warm Beige and just put a little right there. Not too much. And I honestly need to go to on Amazon and order one of those um, like waveable fans. I know like the Renaissance fans, the girls, the fans of girls been wearing to the Renaissance concert. I need to order one of those because I had this fan. But I discovered yesterday that it doesn't work. I'm just going to fan it out real quick. I think it's dried down enough, so I'm gonna use, just as I think, a real technique sponge. Just go ahead and pat it in. I wanna actually show you guys another concealer that I like to use. This is the Derma Blend Concealer in the shade Golden Bronze 65W. This is a cream concealer, but it honestly works very, very, very good, and it's really brightening, so I like doing that as well. That's more what I'm doing, like an in-depth makeup look, not really for something that's just like quick on the go. I'm so hungry, and I'm craving a salad. Hey, Siri. Uh-huh. What time is Chick-fil-A close? I found several matching places. Chick-fil-A. Oh, it goes at 10. Okay, it is 
8.43. Let me hurry up because I don't think I want to cough salad from Chick-fil-A. Blend out this as well. I really want you guys to see up close how flawless and seamless the concealer is. Mario knows what he is doing. I'm telling you. Mario has not disappointed me yet. And I really want to do like a full face of Mario products. I'm going to go ahead and put a little bit more concealer around my mouth. And like I said, the makeup by Mario is self-setting. If you want it to go outside and wear it without wearing any, without setting it with any powder, you can. I'm not. This is the one side setting powder in the shade Sweet Honey. Dab that. And then these are the little, I don't know, powder puffs from Amazon. Dab it in the back of my hand because I don't want too much excess. You see how it brightened up that area though? And it kind of like smoothed it out and made it like the matte finish. I used to go in with the Sephora Micro Smooth on top of that just to kind of bring a color back to my face a little bit. This is the shade. I've had this for so long. Even before it went popular on TikTok, I closed it 60. So deep. So I just patted it on top of where I put the powder just to kind of bring some warmth back to my face. And then after that, everywhere that I didn't put the powder, I go in with the MAC Studio Fix in the shade NW45. And then I use the e.l.f. Complexion Brush. So anywhere I did not put any powder, I just go in and kind of touch it with this to bring like warmth back to my face, bring a little bit of color. A little bit of color back. And then for my favorite part, the bronzer. I have not deviated from Fenty's Mocha Mommy. I swear by it. I have not tried any other bronzer to be honest. And then I use the e.l.f. This is a blush brush, but I use it for bronzer. Honestly, a lot of brushes I use for something that's not the purpose of the brush, but it just works. It still works for me, so dab it. I really want to try the Juvia's Place bronzer because that looks very warm and good too. But honey, Miss Miss Fenty just has never steered me wrong. So yeah, today yeah, you can see I went in too crazy with the bronzer. We're going to fix it though. Then I like to put bronzer on my jawline as well. And then I honestly, I put it on my forehead too, but um, not right now. What I haven't used though, is I haven't, I've never used like a contour. Like the Makeup by Mario contour stick, I wanna try that. Go back in with that complexion brush and just kinda go over it. So it's not such a harsh, a harsh line. I like more of a chiseled look. So I do tend to go heavy with the bronzer. It's not for everybody. So that's why you see it's kind of like it's giving Iron Man. Because I like that. I feel like I have a round face. So it comes to blush. I want to be a liquid blush girl so bad. So I have the Juvia's Place liquid blush. And those with the Juvia's Place blush that I use. Every single time I use liquid blush, I put a dot. The smallest dot. And it just, it goes a little, a little crazy. And I'm just not a fan of that. So I... I haven't used it. So this is the Real Techniques blush brush. Gently tap. You can see I have never used this bottom one. I, I've only used the top. Oh wait, I didn't even put, I didn't do my nose. I know something was missing, hold on. That's what I forgot to do. I didn't put bronzer on my nose. This is the Coco Naughty for Fenty. Just some random brush that I have. I don't know where this brush came from. I think it's from an Amazon set. First, before I do that, I'm all over the place today. Where's my complexion brush? No. Wipe away the powder that I put on my nose. When she said she get it from her mama, I'ma say you mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. Tell me if you down. Bro, did y'all see they arrested Tupac Killer? After all these years? And they posted like never before I seen footage and Tupac is just so fine. Oh my goodness. Like, I love me some Tupac. But I use the coconut and I just on a little line on each side. Kind of bring it up a little into my eyelids because then I'll blend it out. Put the little bronzer on there and then I use this. It is a Real Technique um, advanced, Essential Crease Brush. So it's for my eyeshadow, but I use it just to blend out. For my everyday look, I don't really put on foundation. I mean, I don't really put on um, eyeshadow. I'm gonna go ahead and get my concealer and put a dot. Blend that out on my eyelids. I'm going to take the Mocha Mommy and this is the Real Technique Medium Shadow Brush and just dab my bronzer on my eyelids. Because I feel like you have to put something on your eyelids. It looks so dull when you don't put anything at all on your eyelids. Valentino ate down when it came to this dual sided eyeliner brush. I mean eyeliner pencil. So one side is the liquid, which I put. 
the other side just a regular pencil now open this i'm not i'm not fighting with you today i'm really not i fight since i'm in a rush everything is going wrong and then i just of course i use the fenty mascara i have not put on lashes i can't even tell you the last time I have put on lashes. Boom, that's done. Now it's time for the lip and I can get out of here and get my Chick-fil-A. Talking so weird in this video, I realized I cut my Invisalign. Like, I feel like when I have my Invisalign, I have a lisp, I talk fast. I don't know. This is the Chestnut from MAC, y'all know, staple. And then this is the YSL lip gloss. I mean, this is the YSL lipstick um, in the shade 15. I'm not gonna use setting spray because I'm not going anywhere. Um, I've been using the Mattifying Continuous Mist by Morphe or back to the old faithful, Urban Decay actually sent me a PR package, but you guys are gonna see that in um, my TikTok that I'm gonna post. But um, I'll put the link for the TikTok in the description, but they sent me the long lasting spray. I'm telling you, I've been using this for years. It is, what time? 9.17, I am done. Something cute, simple. It's still giving what it needs to give. It's just something real quick. We are on 3% right now. Perfect timing, I feel like. Um, did I get it in my Invisalign? If I was giving like low energy in this video, it's because I'm tired and I'm hungry. So I'm trying to wrap this video up. So I'm gonna eat, shower, sleep. We'll have to edit, have to edit. But this shouldn't be too much editing because for October, I am not going in depth with the edits. I have to edit and record every single day. It's not gonna give thought out edits. I'm so sorry, but this is the look. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. See you tomorrow for day five of October. Mm -hmm.